<laughs> Let's learn playing in the band. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to an all new episode of Big How Play Dead. As always, your gracious host, Davey. That's right. If you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified every time that we drop a video and you need to watch all of the videos not just the lessons you need to immerse yourself in the cult that is the toby and davy channel okay we got something to scratch every itch you got uh, this episode is brought to you by me and the golden road guitar course go get that shit see it is, is, is how i play guitar if you wanted to know how i play guitar and how i do stuff without really thinking about it a it's because i have a terrible attention span and b bam it's this method of playing the guitar. It's got the whole, whole half method, chord inversions, everything you need to know, right? It's boom, it's right there. More than that, at the end, hair in my mouth. The end of the episode. That's right. Okay, today we're learning playing in the band, baby. People have been asking for this one for a long time. And honestly, I hadn't played it ever up until like a couple weeks ago when we learned it for uh, one of the Steal Your Mondays. And interestingly enough, like I was always very intimidated by this song because it's in 10. It's in 10 4. 10 4, good buddy. Um, also, you can count it in five. Like that's what I end up doing is counting it in five, even though it's in 10, right? And so even the backing track is like done in five because like it's kind of like halftime 10 4. So it's just five, two. It's, it's stupid. It's dumb. Just count fives, but it's in 10. If that makes sense. The time signature is in 10, so every like when you count it, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3. That's how you count, okay? It's interesting, and we'll talk more about it in a second. But the song was written, like, uh, so parts of it kind of came about in, like, 69 was when they started doing, like, the instrumental jam section of it, but the song itself uh, didn't show up um, until like 71 71 is when like the whole song it was written by robert hunter bob weir and mickey hart that's right and they credit david crosby with coming up with the riff which is really interesting it was also on a mickey hart album called rolling thunder and on there it's called the main 10 because again it's in 10 right main 10 i wish they would have called it like hang 10 i don't know give me fat i don't know uh, also, um, it's one of their most played songs. So there's, there's like debate on whether it's me and my uncle or this. So this was played 676 times throughout the dead's career. So from like 71 to 95, it was played 676 times. That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay. And those are the more interesting facts I could find out about it. Okay. What it breaks down to, you've got it like this. You've got your intro which is also your outro. You played at the very end. You've got um, your verse and your chorus. It's the same thing. So we're going to cover them both at the same time. Uh, then you've got your interlude, which is this little musical interlude. The That's what that is, right? Uh, and then you've also got the instrumental section. was the bam, ba bam, 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 that part. And then you've got the jam section, which we're, you know, like I, I make it modulate. I make it go from uh, D major to D minor just to, to fuck with you. But that's fun for me. OK, so there's all that, all that in a bag of chips and we're going to get into it. OK, we're going to get started oh, with the intro. OK, there's two parts to it. You got the Bob part and the Jerry part. So let's get the fuck into it. Ah. Hope you got your britches on. I don't want you watching this without no pants. It's weird. You're going to stain that couch, bro. Okay. All right, everybody. Welcome to your intro. Here is the tablature for your intro it's very easy it's just in d major that's all it is but listen and we're going to get into it
Okay, see, very simple. The two are very simple. So what you're going to do is you're going to, hey, join me where my head is my nipple. Stop, stop that. Stop what you're doing. Just get there. All right, what we're doing is we're starting with a, a D major, and you can start with just a regular D major like this. Right? But take your middle finger away. You're going to need that. So that's basically what you're doing. But what you're going to do is you're going to start here on the D string itself, and you're going to do open. So open on the D string. And you're going to try to just trace those two other two other notes, the G and the B, okay? So. Right? So that's what that'll sound like. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that middle finger and you're going to put it on the A string on the third fret, right? And then you're going to do. Right? So how that breaks down is you're going to finger pick so it's best to do hybrid picking with this okay so i'm plucking with my middle finger on that b string and i'm hitting with the pick the a string right so and then you're going to hit them both at the same time so you're going to do three three and then you're going to hit the two on the a while still hitting the three on the b right so and then you're going to do this you're going to do a hand an open on the a and then you're going to hammer on two and then you're going to hit open again, and then you're going to hit the open D. So it'll be like this. So it'll be. And usually how, if I'm, if I'm doing like trying to get like a Bob tone for the, you know, the backing tracks and stuff, what I like to do is I like to split my pickups. I like to split the middle and then the bridge pickup. That's what I like to do. And then I'll turn that into a single coil, right? I'll split my coils, right? And then from there I get this, the chimey tinselly Bob tone, right? So... And that's how I usually kind of go for a bob tone because it, it kind of kind of has it, you know, it's a little bit there. Um, and then so next what we'll do is the Jerry one, right? And so what you've got for Jerry is while the bob part's going on, you've got Jerry doing. Right, so you can kind of comp on those Ds, like even come up to this inversion of D, which is just the same as down here. It's just, you know, in the next octave up. But all you're doing there is you're doing 10 on the B string, 10, 10, and then eight. And then you're gonna do this hammer on from seven to eight, back to seven. And then you're gonna hit nine, seven on the G, right? So, boo doo scatter, boo doo scatter, boo doo scatter. Boo doo scatter, boo doo scatter, boo doo scatter. Scatter, do to scatter, do to scatter. Do to scatter, do to scatter, do to scatter. Right? And then you can also. I know you can throw in your fl any any amount of flares. Is you just got to make sure that you're staying in five or ten. You know, it's that same kind of idea. So just make sure that you're staying within the confines of the time signature, and you can kind of like flutter around a little bit during that, just depending on how much you want to, um, not necessarily muddy it up, but do you know more, add in some other stuff, you know, make it your own. But that's that. That's your intro, right? So you're gonna do that four times. That's it. That's all that is, is four times through, and then you're into your verse, okay? So then we're going to get into our verse, and we're going to do the verse and the chorus at the same time, okay? All right? Now, don't get upset. Don't get upset with me. I don't want to see it down in the comments, and you're like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Why didn't you separate? Because it's the same fucking thing. It's the same thing. It's the same. It's the same chords, and you play it basically the same. There's just some more, like, eh, some more umph on the chorus, okay? So just get off of my nuts. 
Hello and welcome to the verse and the chorus. See, it's just this. D-A-D is dad time, baby. Dad time. Coming for you is the dad time. Dad time. Dad time. Coming for you. He's gonna mow your lawn and tell you how you should live your life. Dad. Okay. So, after your your fucking Okay, so that's it. So listen to me and we will, okay? Join me where my head is my nip. All right, so after you've done your, you know, your four times through of the. Are you just going to go straight to a D for this? Some folks trust in reason, others trust in my. And that's it. That's the chord progression for the, this whole section. That's it. It's D-A-D. That's it. You're doing that the whole time. But what you're doing is you're hitting the A on 10, right? So you're doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. You're kind of hitting an accent on the nine, and then on the ten, you're hitting the A, and then you're back on one, right? I know it's difficult, but like the actually singing it helps. Right? So you'd be like, some folks trust in reason, others trust in mine. I don't trust in nothing, but I know it come out right. I see it once again now. Oh, I hope you understand. When it's done and over, alone, a man is just a man. And playing, playing in the bed. And that's, that's it. As long as you're kind of like carrying that stuff out, you notice how I was just kind of hitting the accents with the lyrics on the chorus. So you do the playing, playing in the band. Day break, day break on the land. Now, again, like I'm not the best at this because, again, I, you know, like everybody's used to playing in 4-4-3-4, four, 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 you know, like the 11 is an 11. You know, uh, estimated's in seven. Uh, let's see, this is in ten. That's your verse and your chorus, okay? Just remember to, to count it out. It's all right. And sing with it if you need to, okay? So now we're going to get into in the interlude, which is like that uh, that that part. It's like, daybreak, daybreak on the land. That part, okay? So that's the little interlude section. So we're going to get into that nah, right nah. You're doing great, by the way. Like, I know that this isn't easy, you know, like, uh, especially trying something new and something that could be, you know, terribly uncomfortable as a person. You're trying a new time signature. It's hard, but it's it's OK. You're doing great. And I love you. And let's go. All right. So your interlude, but gal, that's what it looks like. So that the, you know, the, the, the chord part is a, a, a summation, right? That's just what I was able to hear, you know, cause there's not really any annotation for that. Like there's a couple ways you could do it, but this is how I'm going to show you how to do it. And you know, if you do it another way, totally cool. Right. Cause there's a way to do this with like the relative minors. So it would be, it would be basically the same. So it's, it is what it is. So, uh, Let's listen and we will.
<laughs> okay, so so when you hit that at uh, when we've come back and we're hitting that uh, the daybreak, daybreak on the land. Right, so that's how we're kind of throwing that in together. Here, let me do my bob tone for you. Let me do the bob tone, and then you can. So, so this is kind of like what where I'm kind of going with it. Okay, so like, uh, and a lot of the time, Bob will just do uh, an octave of the same riff. Right, so this is just kind of me being like, if you want to play the chords with it, you can. I put them in the backing track. So how you're gonna do that is you're gonna start with a D to G. So it's D D D G. That's how that breaks down, okay? <laughs> and you're doing the C-shaped inversion of G, or I am. That's just easier for me, right? Right, and you can even hit that that C shaped A up there. Whatever you want to do, right? So I'm doing the A shape of D, C shape of G. I'm doing the E shape of A or the C shape of A. Okay, easy peasy, and that's that part, right? So now we're gonna do the little lead section, right, or just the lead line over it. So what you're doing is you're starting on. So you hit that D, bum, and then what you'll do is you'll come up G string on the ninth fret, and then you're gonna hammer on and off. You're going to hammer on and pull off from the 11th fret. So it's... So you're going to hit it, pull off, and then you're going to go back up to 11, and then you're going to go up to 12. Right? And you're going to go back and do that same hammer on, pull off. And then you're going to hit pull off to the 9, though, and hit that with some more intention. Right? So... You can do the same thing again. So then it's buddy da bit buddy, and then you're gonna go down to the seventh fret. And you're gonna start all over again, right? So Right, so it's just that kind of it's just that kind of simple back and forth from that you know ninth to eleventh fret is kind of the basis of it, right? So you'll hit the D is like your root, and where Bob. Bob's usually playing it is in the lower octave and he'll do it on like on the A string, right? So you, all you have to do is find your D root, right? So and you'll come up to the seventh fret. And that's where you do it there. It's the same movement. It's the same movement, same fingering, same, same thing. You've just moved it from starting on the ninth fret on the G string to starting on the starting on the seventh fret of the A string. So Right, so you've got three places you can do that. You can do it starting on the seventh fret of the A string. You can do it starting on the ninth fret of the G string. You can start it on the seventeenth uh, fret of the B string. Right, so that's that's pretty easy and pretty fun. And then what you'll do is you'll go back into the third verse. You'll do the third verse, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go immediately, or no, the second verse, right? Yeah, it'll be the second verse, and then you're going to immediately, after the chorus, go into the instrumental part. And that's what we're going to immediately do right now. Do you understand me? Do you... Mm, mm. 
Boy, howdy, do you frustrate me? Boy, howdy, do you see me tapping on your screen right now? See me tapping and getting in? Okay. All right. All right. the instrumental section boom it's just an a's some e's and some g's and some d's you know what i'm saying that's what everybody's just trying to get some a's and some e's you know some some acid and ecstasy and some g's and some d's girls and dogs whatever just figuring it out okay so here we go this is listen and we will it's probably the, the weirdest part of this song other than the rest of it you know so here we go See, it's not terrible, but it's a little weird. So I'm going to show you how to count it, right? So this is how you're going to count it, okay? So you're going to make your hits. So you're going to hit your, your, your E's and your G's and your D's, right? You're going to hit those on five and nine of your count, right? So the first time when you're hitting the E's, it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? So you're hitting the G on the 9 and the D on the 10. Right? So that's that's this part in a nutshell. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right? And so that's it. And then after you do that twice, you're going to do that through twice. And then you're going to hang on A. So it'll be 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and 9 and 10 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and 9 and 10 and 1. That's what that's going to be. So you're switching over. You're switching over to, to do the last section. So you do 10 all the way through of A. Right, and then you do four of A, and then on five you start to do your kind of stutter stepped outro to that thing. So one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten and one. It's so weird. That's that's why you know the backing tracks there. That's why that's in there for you to practice that too. It's very interesting and very strange. But that's that's your part of that, right? So it's. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten and one. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten and one. It's so dumb. It's so dumb and so strange, but you got it. Well, I love you. And now what we're going to do is you're going to listen to me jam over the jam section. And that'll be for better or worse. I went and bought a wah pedal for it today. I went and got a new one of these like little tiny crybabies. Bought that just for you guys. It's fun. It's fun. Uh, I will probably only ever use it sparingly. I don't know. Like, uh, I love Waz and I'm okay at using them. It's just, it's different. So we'll see how this jam goes and then join me at the end for some final thoughts and shit. Mwah, go ahead.
it's not the best, but I don't claim to be the best. You know, being the best comes with a lot of pressure. So I would rather just be me and people be like, oh, that's Davey. Now, I can hear Davey. It, for better or worse, I want people to know it's me and not, you know, somebody else. So that was playing in the band. I hope you get out there and play with your band. Please subscribe, hit the like, you know, comment, all the stuff you're supposed to do so we can continue to grow. Don't you want this to grow? Share it around. Tell people about this shit, okay? And also, please uh, go buy the Golden Road Guitar Course. It's how I play guitars. It's how I break everything down through the whole, whole half method and chord inversions. I only think about shapes and patterns. I don't think about scales. I don't think about modes. This has charts. Uh, it's a whole video course. I don't know if you knew that. It's a 4K video course the whole way through. And it also comes with charts and backing tracks. Mwah. You'll even It unlocks the key to my backing tracks, the ones on the channel. You're like, what are those charts? Those are the charts you get in the fucking program. That's what I'm saying. Also, Patreon. Patreon.com slash Toby and Davey. I don't know how many times I have to tell you guys that there is so much content. There's like weeks weeks worth of hours of content on there. There's so much content. You get so much bang for your buck because as soon as you sign up, you get the whole backlog of everything. There's so much. Also merch. If you want to wear our faces or our band's faces on there, uh, realbird.company.site. Or if you just want some heady fucking bird merch, boom, realbird.company.site. That's our, that's our production. Well, that's the, you know, it's the entertainment company that all this falls under, right? Um, also, you know, if you want to, you can donate straight to me. You can throw money right in my pocket because we need it. We need the money. Times are hard. Times are weird. You know, so if you just want to throw spare change at me, do it. It only helps. I, I love you. Uh, always, always be good. Don't, you know, you don't have to be a dick. Rule of the channel. Don't be a dick. That's it. That's it. That's all it takes. When you're like, when, when you're presented with a situation that tests your nerves, or anything like that. It's okay to be annoyed. It's okay to get annoyed because you got to be honest with people. But to go that extra step further just to be, you know, diminutive and mean, it's not cool. It's not cool. Don't do that, bro. Be fam. Don't be not fam. You know what I'm saying? So get out there. Be good. Play playing in the band. It's a weird song. Have fun. Go play the backing track, okay? Mwah.